Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Dylan D. Welcome back to the channel and it's time for another video. Today's video is on the submarine behind me. Uh, we'll be exploring how to build it in today's tutorial. But before we get to that, thank you all so much for helping me reach seven and a half thousand subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. You guys are the best. Thank you so much and welcome, of course, all of my new subscribers. Uh, There's about 500 new subscribers since I started uploading again. So, of course, welcome to the channel. You subscribed at the perfect time. Speaking of which as well, I've also fired up my Instagram and my Twitter again. I've already posted pictures of the most ridiculous build like that I've ever built ever over there. So definitely, I encourage you guys to go check that out. And if you like what you see, I definitely, definitely encourage you follow uh, my Instagram and Twitter, especially if you want to see what I look like in real life, if you haven't already, and that's going to be the best thing uh, to do that. <laughs> uh, but no, as far as that as well, um, other than those pictures, yeah, we posted, uh, I posted up those pictures. It's huge. The fly machine is absolutely massive. I need to try to find out a word that's going to be bigger than massive. All right. You guys can definitely help me out with that as well. Uh, so I can throw it into the title of the uh, Video when that drops um, but no as far as that as well um, it may be a little bit longer before we see that video uh, but definitely there are some epic sneak peeks on the Instagram and Twitter there'll be links in the description to both of those accounts so definitely make sure to check them out um, but no as far as that as well um, on top of that the that super epic build that you'll be seeing uh, is about only 65% complete so I still got a ton of more work to do uh, but it's coming it's coming uh, to keep you guys occupied i'm going to drop some um, brand new bedrock edition tutorials uh, those are going to be coming up as well uh, just you know kind of fire them off until this new done as well um, but yeah no again thank you guys all so much um, if you find yourself enjoying yourself <laughs> definitely leave a like um, but hey if you cannot wait to see what's coming next i encourage you to subscribe because it's about to be absolutely crazy Oh, and lastly, definitely check out the new channel banner. I think there's a, I think there's the one and only hint we're going to get for a little while on my ultimate build. Yeah, the little FYI there. <laughs> uh, but no, other than that, uh, we'll go ahead and I'll start up the tutorial here for the submarine. For this build, you will need nine stacks of blocks of choice, including 51 on top of that. I also need seven stacks of glass if you wanted to make it, uh, obviously, so you can see out every direction there, plus 33, three stacks and seven observers, uh, two stacks and 54 pistons, 64 and 22 slime blocks, 64 and seven honey blocks, 53 sea lanterns, 28 sticky piston, 28, 20, and six of your terracotta block of choice, doesn't matter, uh, but these are mandatory. Um, 10 soul sand uh, these are of course just to place your mine carts on uh, and then of course your uh, two magma blocks as well as the soul sand to jettison up to the surface and to um, you know, pull yourself back down on top of that we'll also need five um, trap doors of choice doesn't matter um, as long as of course it's open uh, you can't really do a red st uh, a, uh, <laughs> an iron trap door don't want to do that uh, in which you also need temporary blocks to place your rails on top of, to place your mine carts, and you can break everything and it'll fall onto the soul sand and be kept into place. Uh, fire charge to start the machine up. Uh, five obsidian will be four in the back of the build, and then the one obsidian that you'll need to pilot the machine. Uh, and then, of course, just a ton, like however many crafting tables you want to put inside the machine as well. Of course, we'll be going over with place all of that at the end of the video. Uh, but yeah, once you have all of that, you are ready to start building. All right, so once you're ready to start building, got all your materials ready to go, we're going to go ahead and make this 2x2 uh, two two obsidian uh, structure here. Uh, we're actually going to, you either want to place it 26 or 28 blocks down below the surface of the water. Reason being is for the TNT cannon on the top, when you launch the TNT, it will perfectly, from this distance, of course, uh, it will perfectly go up to the top and explode in the middle of the air so you can destroy blocks and whatnot up there. Uh, so from here, again, it's a two by two. Uh, this right here is your 26th uh, or 28th block. Doesn't matter. Uh, both will get the job done. The 28th, obviously, uh, has let, it'll explode a lot faster once it reaches the surface, whereas 26 blocks where I'm at right now, it kind of jumps up for, and then it's like up there for just a moment and then it explodes. Uh, but yeah, enough of all that. Um, what you want to go ahead and do is grab honey blocks. We're going to place two just like so. 
and then two slime blocks. And then we want to make all of these pieces uh, two by two. Cool. Now, once we have this, we're going to just outline it with observers. And from here, we're going to go ahead and place pistons all around it, too. Awesome. Now, from here, uh, we can go ahead and grab some slime blocks. Coming out of this top left, uh, kind of, I guess, to the side piston, we want a slime block right here, and then we'll make that two. We're going to come up this way. Do the same thing, but we want it to come out that way. Right here, we want three slime blocks in this pattern. Coming out from this piston, two slime blocks. Right here on this corner, we only want two. Coming out from here, we want two more. And we can also do that same thing right here, but we're also going to want three total. Ooh, that ambient creepy old noise. I feel like something's here, even though I know for a fact nothing's there. <laughs> uh, coming out from this piston, we'll also put a slime block just like so. Um, and then I know that looks a little confusing, but it'll make more sense uh, since we're going to invert everything with honey blocks. We'll have the three right there. And you can see it's like backwards. And same thing right here. There's another three for and two, just to finish it up. This is what it'll look like when you're done. Uh, next up, we're gonna go ahead and grab uh, our observers. We want them this way. Perfect. Grab pistons real fast. Cool, cool. and then we'll grab our uh, glass of choice. Um, obviously, this can also be block of choice, and then we wanna come all the way around this way to kind of give the submarine its airlock kind of feel. Uh, so no water gets in. Cool. Now once we do that, we're going to kind of do the same exact thing that we just did back here with our slime blocks and whatnot. Uh, from there, it'll be the two there, two here, and you want three, two, just two on this corner. Make this real fast because we want two, and then on this corner we'll do the three. I'm going to come out two from there. Again, that looks like this. Grabbing those honey blocks. We'll invert it. Three there. Two, two, three, two. Cool. So you should be looking at this. I'm going to go ahead and grab my glass. We're going to do that same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and come all the way around here. Filling in this whole area. Awesome. Now, once we have all of that, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, glass again. Might as well, while we still have it in hand, uh, we're going to go ahead and outline it just like this in this kind of pattern. And then we're going to fill in the middle areas uh, with, you know, light source of uh, choice, like glowstone or sea lantern, if you'd like anything movable, uh, or obviously it can just be another block of choice as well. Now, from here, we're going to go ahead and grab our observers again. And we're going to go a little crazy with them before there, there here and then there just like before and we're also on this one uh, gonna go ahead and bring it out just like this cool you should be looking at this crazy looking contraption so far um, from here I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more pistons and we're just gonna uh, go ahead and go all the way around the outside and fill up all the observers first and then we can do the inside reason I'm doing it like that is just to kind of keep it simple <laughs> for the video or else this could get pretty confusing. I'm doing all the clockwise or counterclockwise rotations. <laughs> uh, but no, from here, um, we're going to go ahead and do this uh, center section of pistons first. We're going to come out from this one with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks. The observer will be the 11th and then the piston will be the 12th to put this whole segment over its 12 block, uh, at its 12 block push limit. Um, from here, we're going to go ahead and want to put in our glass, and then I'm going to skip one, and I want a two by two, skip one, two by two, skip one, same thing, and then we'll fill in all of these middle areas with your lighting of choice. Grab that, and then we'll go ahead and just catch up with uh, the rest of it here. Perfect. You can fill all of this in with observers and pistons. Cool. So you should be looking at that. Go ahead and come over to this one. I want to come out to there we'll grab some more glass for this because we'll want it to also come all the way out 
but uh, two layers. So one layer there and then two. Same thing with this on the top. Servers and piston. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and mirror this. Uh, you'll just catch it as far as the time lapse, then we'll go over. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me go ahead and just mirror all of this. Uh, the floor will look the same as the ceiling where we have it, as long as it's coming off of these pistons, uh, and then the sides as, as well. We'll come in off. We wanted to come in off right here, <laughs> not on that first one that I just placed. Uh, and then it should all come out to the same area. All right, so we should be looking at something that looks exactly like this. Um, looking at it from here, uh, obviously, again, the floor is the same as the ceiling, uh, and the walls are exactly the same. Uh, coming around to these out, these outer pistons, we're going to go ahead and grab our block of choice. Coming out of this one, we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to grab an observer and then a piston. As you can see, it's going to be one block back, and then that's how we're going to line up the entire outside uh, area. Of uh, so it's coming down this way, you can do the same thing. Make sure it's just nice and lined up with this piston here. Uh, actually go ahead and do that as well for the glass. Like so, and also grab that. Cool. Grab your observers and pistons. All right, so that's how um, both of the sides are going to look. Uh, but real quick, I want to show you how the, the roof of this build is going to look. Um, so I'll go ahead and complete this area as well. Got a good reference. Okay. Ooh, all right. Coming out of this block here and this one, you want a block of choice. And you want to come out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, of course, with an observer and a piston. And do the same thing right here. All right, now next up, I'm gonna grab my uh, gray terracotta blocks. Now from here, what we wanna do first before we place down the terracotta is we're gonna grab our magma blocks. Uh, from the magma blocks, we wanna place two, just like so. We can break out this glass, and then we wanna grab a trap door of choice. Uh, from the, um, actually, no, first we wanna place soul sand right there. Now we can place our trap doors. Uh, the trap doors will be on these right there on the top and open them up, and then on the top of these blocks, open them up. Uh, now from here, as you can see, uh, we should have a little bit of water, or a little bit of air <laughs> right there. Um, now from this, uh, what we want to go ahead and do is grab those terracotta blocks again. And we, you can go ahead and put them in any pattern that you want. I'm going to do that, but you want a little 2x2 two two area of those, and then we're going to go ahead and place two observers facing straight up. And then we're going to finish off this area with terracotta. I'm going to just do the whole two by two thing all the way up to, yeah, to there. Then we can grab observers and pistons. Cool. You should be looking at that uh, for just the roof and this side. And then the bottom here is just going to be the same layer without the sea lantern. So I'm all the way out this way. Server, piston, forget this one here. Cool. Then we can grab the glass. We want to come out um, the same as this here, but just no sea land. Is it kind of like a cool depth effect? <laughs> Next up, we're going to go ahead and grab these. Block of choice. Same point. Up. Awesome going to do obviously this side all right awesome so we should be looking at this overall shape on the front i'm kind of panning it around here it look like this overall as well um, now coming out from the front again we're going to go ahead and start from this little middle area again uh, we're going to start with sea lanterns though this time we want to come out to this point with those sea lanterns uh, i'm going to make a two by two Two lanterns, two by two, two lanterns, two by two. Should be it. So what we're going to do is <laughs> uh, we're going to check real fast. Grab these. We want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, we're so close. 
you can go ahead and end it up with city lanterns and grab these block of choice go ahead and even it up of course we'll want observers pistons uh, next up we'll go to the top here and blocks total bar there we go now from here we're going to go ahead and just mirror the floor Two lanterns skip it skip there cool grab the block of choice like that and then servers again pistons cool and then this both of these sides will be the same again coming all the way out to uh, this point server piston and then obviously all of your glass in there as well. cool should be looking at that and then we'll go ahead and mirror it to this side as well Awesome. So this should be the tube <laughs> so far. Um, once you have all of this, we're going to come back up to the top. Uh, that's obviously the most important. There's going to be more pieces on it. I want this to come out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, again, that will be one block back from that. Just like so. Uh, we'll do the same exact thing on this side. And in the middle, what we're going to go ahead and do. Um, now, we don't need anything fancy like this back here. We're just going to grab our gray terracotta or whatever terracotta that you guys chose. Go ahead and fill in this area just like this. We're going to do that all the way up to the front of the machine, uh, of this segment. All right, so you should be looking at something that looks like this. Go ahead and grab those observers again. Pistons, and then what we want to do, uh, this is your first 2x2 two two at the end of the uh, this segment we're going to come back right here we want to blow out those two blocks so there should be sea lanterns underneath and we'll place two observers uh, facing straight up out of the top again that's two uh, the two by two I want to go ahead and place observers right here awesome so next up uh, once you have that it's really the same thing as this one you're kind of just um, going around even and out the outside server piston and then these side areas as well are exactly the same uh, and again all, as long as you're just keeping one block back just like this on this outer piece and you should be good to go but yeah go ahead and i'll just uh, time lapse that real quick as well All right, awesome. So you should be looking at this overall shape so far. Uh, we have two segments, just like this. We have this kind of propeller-looking shape right here, this turbine kind of engine area uh, is where we started off. Coming up here, of course, again, you want the magma blocks, trap doors, and then you want your um, uh, soul sand, two by two, and then, of course, your uh, observers. And then you can just fill in the rest by a, a little four by two area, just like so. This one here, uh, you want to come all the way up to the front, and then off of these observers, you have a 2x2, two two, and then the observers uh, right here pointing straight up. Uh, but yeah, once you have this, uh, we are ready to move forward. All right, so next up, we're going to go ahead and finish off this uh, tube shape here. Uh, we're going to come back to the bottom. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the inside pistons again first. Uh, we'll come out from this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then from the, this one here, we're going to go ahead and start off with our sea lanterns. Skip two, skip two, and oops, skip two. Cool. And then you can grab your glass of choice or block of choice. And then we want 10 more of these on that outside piece. We can grab observers, pistons. Awesome. Now, coming out from here, uh, we can go ahead and come out from this one, catch up with the rest, and then we want a glass of choice. And block of choice to top that off. Now, once you put your observers on, 
and pistons, of course. We can go ahead and mirror uh, this side to this side and then the, uh, <laughs> the floor to the roof. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that real quick as well. All right, so this will be the inside piece, just like so. Um, from there, we're going to go ahead and come down to the bottom. Grab a block of choice, now just like so. And then, of course, uh, we're going to go all the way up to the front, except one block back. So it should be looking at this. We'll grab our glass again. Like that. Uh, then we can grab that block of choice again. And come all the way back to the front to catch up. Get those observers and pistons. Awesome. Coming up this way. From here. These side ones as well. And of course, uh, you can make the side wall here look exactly how it does on the inside. Obviously, just one block back. And block of choice on the top. That up with observers and piston. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and mirror that to the top and to the this side to the other side as well. All right, awesome. So once you have that, you should have your like third tube area <laughs> looking thing completed. Uh, you should be looking at this overall shape. I'm going to go ahead and grab my glass of choice, and we're actually going to go ahead and come off of each of these pistons with glass. Awesome. Now once we have that, we're going to do the same thing with the outside. So we should be looking at this overall shape so far. Um, now, once we have this, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab our honey blocks or slime blocks. doesn't really matter. I'm going to place two honey blocks right here. And same thing on the bottom coming off of the front. So you should be looking at this. We'll grab slime blocks. The same thing right here and then right there. And then I also want a slime block on both sides, just like so. Honey block on top or vice versa. doesn't matter. These won't be running into each other. These are the only two that, you know have to worry about touching it all. Uh, now once we have that, we can go ahead and grab our glass again, and we want to go ahead and fill in this entire area here. I'll uh, show you with just the corners first. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and fill in this entire front piece. Cool. So yeah, that should be the completed tube, tubular structure <laughs> of the overall submarine. Uh, next up, we'll go ahead and add in the top stuff there. All right, so next up, I'm going to go ahead and grab my sticky pistons. I'm going to go ahead and come all the way back to the first observers that we placed uh, sticking straight up. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is place in two uh, sticky pistons, just like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and place uh, two honey blocks there, two slime blocks here. It doesn't matter. Uh, either side is, works just as good. Place two pistons coming off the top, and I'm going to go ahead and just place the two slime blocks there two honey blocks just like so and then we want the four blocks of choice around this front piece just like so now coming off the back over here we want two blocks of choice and then we're also going to need two redstone blocks two blocks of choice there and then another two blocks of choice right here and then we'll need observers pointing forward quasi connecting these pistons just like so now from here uh, we're going to go ahead and move up to these observers Go ahead and lay down two sticky pistons just like so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, same thing again. Um, but we want one, two, three, four slime blocks, and then one, two, three, four honey blocks just like so. Coming out of the front, we need two pistons, two slime blocks, two honey blocks, and then we can do the same four block shape just like so. Grab those observers, make sure that we can push those structures forward. Observer should be pointing face down into those pistons. We're going to do the same thing on the back. Uh, observer there. Observer here. Four stickies. Sticky piston. Two face down uh, observers. 
we can go ahead and place uh, our soul sand on the top. Awesome, now from here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our uh, slime blocks and we wanna kinda do this pattern. And we're gonna invert it with our honey blocks. You should be looking at this now, uh, different from the first part. Come to the front here, place our face down observers again, do the same thing with our sticky pistons. Soul sand on the top. Awesome, we're gonna do that again here with the honey blocks up that side. Um, actually, I'll kinda keep it with the just to the build here. <laughs> Invert the honey blocks just like so. Servers. Sticky piston. And the soul sand on the top. Cool. And then this should be the last round for this. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the same little pattern here. Then we're going to grab blocks of choice. And we want to come up uh, six blocks of choice on the back, just like this, leaving the top open. And we'll follow that rule going all the way forward. Uh, we want three more block of choice here, right here, <clears throat> here, and then two on the front, just like this. You should be looking at this overall shape. I'll do the same thing over here. We want two on the front. And then we got three blocks all the way up on those honey and slime blocks all the way back. Cool. So once you have that, I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, two different types of terracotta, or you can just do one type, doesn't matter. Um, but from here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is place this terracotta like so. Um, from this position, I want to go ahead and place in this one, this one right here. Actually, I have to stand just like this. Cool. You should have this overall shape so far. Um, coming back to this side over here, I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, three, just like so. Um, from there, we can go ahead and face this way, get that overall shape, and then we want this way as well. Cool. So now once we have all of that, we should be looking at the completed um, top section of the submarine. Uh, lastly, should be clearing all the water out from inside of this thing and, of course, uh, doing the engine. All right, now for the last step of the build, we're going to go ahead and come all the way to the back of the machine over here to where these uh, four obsidian blocks are, where we started off. Uh, just temporarily, we're going to go ahead and get rid of those and these four middle blocks as well. Now, what I'm going to do is place a uh, two by two area of sticky pistons uh, where those blocks were. And then we're going to go ahead and just replace those blocks just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and put my immovable blocks back just like that as well. Uh, next up, we're going to go want to go inside the machine here um, after placing that. Uh, and then once you've done that, we can go ahead and clear out this entire area um, with sponges. I just want to go ahead and kind of randomly place them everywhere. I'm sure it doesn't. <laughs> All right, how well do we do? Oh, yeah, we did kind of okay. Not too bad. Get rid of these. Awesome. Now, once you are satisfied with the clearing of your water, you can go ahead and come back to those sticky pistons. Uh, what we're going to want to do is grab a slime block. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place four of them, just like so. And then we're going to want uh, an observer facing into this top slime block right there. And then another one on this side, just like so. Now, coming out from the bottom of this observer, we want a sticky piston into this slime block. And then we're going to go ahead and come backwards one slime block right here. We want an observer pointing straight up and we even want a sea lantern right in front of that. Now, once we have that, we can go ahead and grab a sticky piston. We want it right here. Uh, then we can even throw a piston on the side of this, just like so. From here, what we want to go ahead and do is place one slime block and then another one. So that's two, three, four, and five. Now we can go ahead and connect all of that with sticky pistons. Cool. And then observers on the top. So obviously we're going to leave this one out and then we want one, two, three, four, and five. Grabbing those sticky pistons. Come out one more time again. Uh, but this one's going to look a little different. Uh, we want three slime blocks coming off the front just like this. Observer here and then one more on this side as well. Then from there, we want a piston coming out of the front, and then that piston will be 
pushing those two slime blocks and that sticky piston as well. Now to make sure that this engine works, I'm sure you guys uh, recognize it for all those that did the battleship tutorial. Uh, we're going to come up all the way to, uh, yeah, about right here. Yep, works for me. Grab our uh, trapdoor choice. This is obviously so you can hop up on there in survival if you do so wish. And grab those terracotta blocks again. We just want one observer and we can put a piston in there. The reason it's like this is because when this pulls forward, it'll just pull the piston. And then when this pulls forward, obviously it'll leave the uh, terracotta block behind. Uh, so this observer won't be able to update until it goes and runs its length all the way down. And that piston pushes uh, all this forward. Uh, once it does that, though, of course, grab those terracotta blocks again. Uh, we want to come out all the way to here. And we're also going to put another observer facing into this sticky piston. So it should look like this overall. Go ahead and place an immovable block right here just in case as well. Now this should be the completed engine here, uh, should be all good to go. Um, as well with this build, uh, you can definitely put in mine carts or crafting benches, etc., whatever you want. Uh, I do have my rails and mine carts uh, right here, just in case. And I'll even go ahead and grab a crafting table. And uh, the crafting table, I just like to put it like, put it like right there. I put another one here on this side. Pretty sure I did the same thing over here. You can even do it back there if you wanted to. Um, but then, yeah, uh, as far as that, what I did up here um, is I took the soul sand. Let's grab that again. And all I li literally did, um, you can do it from like right here. You can do it from right there. Um, but I just made every other one soul sand. Uh, you can do it all the way back to here if you'd like. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, reason being is because, of course, the mine carts, uh, since this is that one block lower, as you can see there, the mine carts will get caught on it. And to place your mine carts, all you got to do is place a block over the soul sand, place your rails down, and then put your mine cart on. And you can go ahead and just break out the block underneath, and it'll all fall perfectly into place. Place that. Cool. And then once you have done that, as you can see here, you can't mess it up. Same thing on this side as well. Uh, but yeah, what's, what I'm going to do real quick there for you guys, uh, make sure that we haven't missed any blocks. I'm going to run this machine. Uh, and then, of course, uh, if I have missed any blocks, I'll go ahead and let you guys know. But yeah, see you in the next clip. All right, so as long as you have remembered to take out all of the sponges and uh, after you were done uh, taking out all the water, then you're good to go. We have not missed any blocks at all in the overall build. Um, coming into this area here, uh, when we can get in there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we can come to the front of the build here. We're going to go ahead and grab uh, the obsidian or your immovable block of choice. Uh, and you just want to place it anywhere coming out from this observer. Uh, so obviously straight this way. Um, in the five aquatic flying machines video, I place it all the way up here, uh, which would be like right there if you'd like. And then this will catch up. Uh, but just to show you guys that it all works, you can go ahead and just update this observer once that immovable block is out of the way. Awesome. And if I go out here, you can see that everything is all caught up and the machine moves forward. Uh, but yeah, no, as far as that, that is how you build a submarine Minecraft. And of course, if you want to set off the TNT cannon, all you got to do is just come right back to this area, which of course you'll be able to access from inside your machine as well. Um, a little bit, you may have to kind of jump up and place it. Um, but when you do, you can place uh, TNT against either of these redstone blocks. up on the surface but that's going to do it for today's video you guys i really hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe and share if you had a good time uh definitely of course as well i recommend checking out my instagram and my twitter if you haven't already uh, definitely follow me over there for daily updates on what i'm building and even crazier pictures you can actually see it and know what it's going to be called before i drop the video 
Uh, so yeah, no, as far as that, definitely encourage you to um, go check those out. And if you do like what you see, definitely follow me there. And you can even see what I look like in real life. Uh, but yeah, no, again, thank you all so much for helping me get to 7,500 subscribers. That's absolutely ridiculous. But hey, there's going to be so many more videos. And it only gets crazier from here. <laughs> uh, but until that next video, you guys stay safe. And I will catch you then. Later, later.